A pregnant woman begging for money on the street with a young with boy. With shelters filling up fast, more homeless seat. people are forced to stay on the streets. An outrage tonight over a viral video that she was posted on some Facebook. would rather risk sleeping in the streets than seek help at a shelter. May 14, 2018. This is a story where my whole entire life changed forever. Yeah, so I guess today is officially day one of me being homeless in Amy. So anyways, though, it's currently day three of me officially being homeless. But not forever, at least, for one week. Want to know how or why I did it? Listen up. This is my story. You know, believe it or not, I live in one of the most expensive countries in the whole entire world. Anybody that lived in the Bahamas or that is living in the Bahamas right now knows that. Like, you know, in the Bahamas, we got like milk, $14, a bar of Snickers, $28. Basically, what I'm trying to say, the cost of living is very expensive. Everything costs money. And like everybody know in 2018, money is the thing that runs the world. And I mean, there's nowhere you can go without money. There's nothing you can get without money. Money gives people more opportunities. Money even can make you more attractive. In the words of Jay-Z, there's no such thing as an ugly billionaire. Do you believe that? Like I said, everything costs money. But you know, I wonder sometimes, do that really matter though? And I want to know exactly if that really does me at all. Or even just, or even just the privilege of me having a roof over my head to sleep every night. This week, I decided to put that to the test. I wanted to see if I could have survived an entire week completely homeless. Nothing but of course, the camera equipment and the shirt I got on my back. To be honest, I think I just wanted to know exactly if I lost everything today, would I still be able to survive? That is the question. I'm just curious to see, and I mean, how far I can go or basically what I can learn from this experiment. For that, every situation can be a learning situation, right? Is being homeless and moneyless even hard? Let's find out. You know, I always really like the whole idea when it comes to this, you know what I mean? Pretending to be or attempting to be, I like to say, homeless for a week experiment. Actually, you know, I've been thinking of doing this for a long time, but, but you know what I mean? I finally gotten the courage to finally do it. Seeing that there's over 100 million homeless people in the world, I always thought, why not try it for myself? See where I stack up amongst everyone else, you know what I mean? You know, I've been homeless before, you know what I mean? But it's like with my dad and you know what I mean? It wasn't by myself, basically. We were sleeping in the car. I wanted to know exactly how would it be, you know what I mean? Just me, no car, no money, nowhere to go. So, the journey begins. I guess it's currently day one of me officially being homeless, you know what I mean? Before I do that though, I need to make sure, you know what I mean, everything is like in order first, you know what I mean, before I leave. Step one, first on my list, text my mother, you know what I mean, tell her I'll be sleeping over by Bradley's house for the next week or so. Step two, text Bradley and tell him that I will not be spending the week over by him, that I'll be homeless for the next week. And also tell my mother I'm there if she asks. And again, you know what I mean, I also need Bradley to mind my Instagram for a while, while I'm gone. You know, make sure everything, you know what I mean, is up to date. And now, the journey begins. So, the objective of this experiment, to stay with our home for over a week, seven days in a row. So I'm currently here, and I wanted to get somewhere around here. To find, you know what I mean, a nice place, not too dark, not too much brush around. You know, something just to kick it off for the first day. And if I don't like it, and I mean, I always could find another place tomorrow. Right now, bro, this already feeling like a bad idea. The walk could take approximately um 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. I have a good idea. I have a good idea where I think it's a good idea to spend the night, you know what I mean? And so, I find the perfect spot, a local park. This would be, you know what I mean? A good start for day one. I was thinking maybe sleeping on the bench somewhere for the night. However, what I didn't know, what I didn't expect it initially was how hard it would actually be. I think we maybe like what? Five maybe. <laughs> Five minutes in. You know what I mean? And I already regretting this, bro. So many things run to your mind, you know what I mean? Is someone gonna rob me? Is someone gonna rape me? Is someone's gonna come with the bush? Is someone's gonna shoot me? Being homeless is no joke. Especially when you're by yourself. With me being by this park, I don't know if anybody's just gonna randomly call the police on me. And what about too when I actually get hungry? Do I ask for money? It would've been nice though, if I gotta actually do this with somebody. Y'all heard that? Niggas be shooting trees sometimes, bro. I don't know if I just worrying too much about things. Mosquitoes already starting to hit a nigga a little bit. 
Uh, I hate mosquitoes, bro. Y'all niggas don't know. At some point, and I mean, I was kind of thinking twice, and I mean, is this really a good idea? Should I just go home and just think of a new idea, and I mean, but you know, I wanted to stick with it. In reality, the mosquitoes probably honestly was the hardest thing of that night. Look at that, bro. Bro, I say mosquitoes killing me, they killing me, bro. Ain't even right no more, bro. It wasn't really much I could actually do, you know what I mean? Because it was already late. Why the hell I do all these crazy stuff? Man, I don't know. You may be asking, what do I have in store for tomorrow? The first daylight of me being homeless. To do something I haven't done in over maybe four or five years. Find a regular job. At very first sunrise, I got up and immediately started thinking, you know what I mean? How exactly am I gonna make this money? I was kind of destined, you know what I mean, to not go hungry these past few days. And most importantly, I think, to not smell bad. So things like food and soap was at the top of my list that day. I needed to make this happen. I needed very much to make this happen. Before making that happen though, you know what I mean, a little challenge was put upon my hands. As I was sitting down recording, you know what I mean, vlogging what's going on, these little kids pulled up on me and challenged me to a race. Yeah, around this, around, I'm sure I could around, yo. You see, if it was any other day or any other person was to walk up to me and just ask me that, you know, the automatic answer would have been no, you know what I mean? I just don't have time, really. I'm just getting too, like, go to shape nowadays, you know what I mean, just to be running around. But these kids watch my video these kids are big supporters of me and I mean so I couldn't back down to that challenge this is what they get and I mean I just gotta show them that I still got it you understand what I'm saying You know, let's just say I let them win. I must say though, these kids down fast. Good job, good job. Anyways though, so now back to what I was doing before. So what came to my head after a little while thinking? A car wash. Think of it, if I wash one car and make $10, that'll be all I'll need for the whole week. The only problem was really, number one, finding water. Number two, finding a bucket. Number three, finding a rag. And most importantly, finding someone's car I can actually wash. It wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Maybe three, four, five. I just remember it was a long time, you know what I mean? I finally found this random bucket and a rag on the floor somewhere. Now it's up to me to go out and look for a customer. Moving on. Getting over. But not the friends they used to be. This even took even longer. I swear, it's like nobody wants the car to be washed. And trust me, I asked. A few hours later, I finally found that customer. There he is, this random man chilling in front of his yard. Without him actually knowing, he's made my week a hundred times easier. After that's done, my last step is to go out and spend this money. So, that was that. And I mean, instead of actually going to then begging for the money or asking for the money, and I mean, I work for the money, so I got $10 to spend right now, so I gotta spend that wisely. Buy stuff I think I will need for this week. Spend this money as in, you know what I mean, this will be the only money I'll have this whole week. Cause you know what I mean, you gotta plan for the worst sometimes, you know what I mean? And so I did. Got some crackers, got some chips, got a can of soup, some water, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, and there it is, God working out for me again. All of this adding up to exactly under $10. Even with some change to spare, today has been a good day. You know, after taking that major loss yesterday, I felt like the day was the day for some redemption. You know, start off this morning a little different than I usually start the rest of my mornings. And yes, if you're wondering, I did change my hair. I did it in complete darkness, you know what I mean? So cut me some slack. But anyways, like I said, it's time to have a productive morning. I cut myself. I'm gonna need literally just now, bro. I literally just cut my knee, bro. God damn. I have one job. I gotta waste some of my water to clean this. Does that cut the journey short, though? Hell no. After the workout later that night, the fact the case of me actually beginning to smell bad because of the obvious reason of me being homeless and the fact that I haven't took a shower in the last few days, I felt like it was about that time to take my first bath. That's the first time for everything, right? This would be actually the first time ever, me actually, you know what I mean, cleaning myself outside. It just came to me, don't leave me here. You know, that was fun, right? The rest of the other days following was kind of spent like how I spent my very first day on this experiment. You know what I mean? Just chilling and laying down and sleeping, you know what I mean? But the last thing, which you will fast forward to, is where I did something, you know, a little more 
different. Was well, not a better way to end this whole experiment, you know what I mean? At the beach in the Bahamas. Yes, I did change my hair box. Let's just be honest, you know and I mean that it didn't look good. This experiment so far has been, I would like to say, a very appreciative type lesson, you know what I mean? To appreciate the things I have in my life for all that. One day, everything will be gone just like that, you know what I mean? So, you know, now I kind of have an understanding for, you know what I mean? All the homeless people out there and all the people that doesn't have everything that we all take for granted every day. Today has been a day, you know what I mean? Today is currently the very last day of me completely being homeless, you know what I mean? This journey so far has been, I like to say, uh, a great journey actually. I'm actually glad I did something like this, you know what I mean? I'm glad for YouTube, you know what I mean? Being the reason I'm doing stuff like this because but I feel like without YouTube, I wouldn't be you know, doing challenges or taking risks, you know what I mean? I wouldn't have like basically, so to so, so to say, a fun life, you understand what I'm saying? So I'm glad for YouTube, I'm glad that I'm doing this experiment because I've learned a lot from this experiment and it's been a great journey so far. Thank everybody for watching. See y'all next time.